Good morning, everybody. It's supposed to be calm all day. Sounds like a good day for spraying. We are on the home stretch of seeding. About just over a thousand acres of canola left. This water truck is parked inside. Last few nights has been cold. Didn't want it to freeze. If it's minus four or five outside, it won't freeze in here. This building isn't heated, but it won't freeze in here. We're also getting a little bit more nitrogen fertilizer today. And instead of putting it in the bin, we'll just transfer it truck to truck. So we'll put it in the Super Bs. Wheat looks good, you can start to see the rows fill in. Doesn't look like too many misses. Plug runs, which always a good sign. I left my beacon on, again. I want to check my nozzles because I haven't checked them in a few days. Make sure I got no plug guys to check them. Uh, the one week and I had quite a few so that wasn't good. So now I've been trying to do a little bit better job of making sure these guys aren't plugged up. Just using my fob here. I can check each nozzle one by one. I changed this solenoid once already, that's what makes the nozzle pulse, and it's not that, it just seems really weak, so I'm gonna change this nozzle, I don't know what else to really check. This is my goodie bag of uh, spare parts. Let's put a new guy on there and see what happens. Nothing in there. Drill's just loaded again. Trying to spray and film between the road and the Caragana road. I was looking for this. Why is it out here? Kind of an old farmyard here. I always like these spruce trees. They must be pretty old. They look pretty cool. I gotta fold up the sprayer to get in there. There's always, always something to go around. It's not always flat and straight going where we are. Two moose just popped out of the bush. Look at them. Holy. scared the bejesus out of me. I probably scared them too. We'll see what's going on. You can 
you see that? Maybe not. A little, like almost looks like a piece of plastic, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh, there it just popped out. Now we're good. Good to go. This guy right here. This guy's key. This guy keeps the whole operation going. It's hard to see those plug nozzles from the cab. Just the way the sun is, how the light hits it. You can tell. Capstan doesn't really pick up pl plug nozzles. Just if the solenoid is lodged open or closed, you can't really go by that. You just gotta, just gotta keep an eye out for it. My dad just finished seeding this field. I didn't get this sprayed before because it was cold and windy and we were doing other things. But I just did the outside round now. Uh, agronomically, probably not the best. So I'm going to wait a couple days and give, those time, give time for those weeds to uh, pop up again. They're probably covered up a little bit. And then I'll go in here again. So now I can either load up and keep spraying wait a little bit, wait for that wind to calm down, it's not too bad, or have lunch. I think I'll have lunch. Fertilizers here, they're almost unloaded, so that's good. A lot of stuff out here. I will park right here. So when I'm pumping chemical into the sprayer, I have a meter that makes sure I'm on the right rate. But the first meter that I used, uh, it's off rate. Put this meter in, it's off rate too. So I've been just using the level on the tote, which isn't as accurate as I'd like to be. So I have a third pump in here. So I gotta hook a battery to this pump because I've been just using the water pressure with the Venturi to suck it through. So I have to hook up my battery this, rig this guy up to pump into the chem handler. Let's see if we have power here. Oh yeah. Okay, that's a good sign. Hold faithful here. Let's see if this goes on right. Hold faithful. Nice flat field. Let's get the drone up in the air, see if I can crash it. I usually, the, the drone usually takes off from the hood. It takes off and lands on the hood because it's flat. You, there's not much clearance because it's so small you can't take off from the field because the stubble gets in the propellers. Usually I just take off from, from the hood, but uh, that landing, that landing was a little rough. Well, thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next one.